when you imagine something to manifest it or to make your invisible imaginal act visible, the key here is when you enter your imaginal act, you must feel that you are already there rather than trying to get there. Because if you are imagining just to get what you want or to change something outside of you, then you are basically in the energy or the state of not having whatever it is that you want. So you cannot externalize it. This is what is meant by the word repent in the Bible. To repent means is to feel that you are already that which you desire to be at this very moment. Or that you already have that which you desire to have. In other words, if you want something and you are not experiencing it, is because you don't feel like the person who already has it. You keep dwelling in the state of not having what you want or what you have imagined based on what your senses are telling you. You may even think or say that you have imagined receiving something and that you now believe that you have received it. But if tomorrow you go back to what your senses are telling you, that you don't have what you want right now, then you are not in the state of having whatever it is that you desire. So you won't be able to externalize it. So the key here is to rise to the state of consciousness of the version of you who already has what you want to have. So let me give you an example. Say you want to manifest a text from your specific person. So you construct an imaginal scene which implies that you have already received that text from your specific person. In other words, look at your phone in your imagination and see that text or message that you want your specific person to send you. Now that you have seen that message from them, basically you have already received it. Tap into that energy or the feeling of that reality. And since you have already received that message from them, you are no longer looking for it or are waiting for their message you are actually in the state of having already received the message from them. This is what is meant by thinking from the state of your wish fulfilled. If, on the other hand, when thinking of your specific person, you are still thinking of how you have not yet received the message from them, or you are still waiting for their message or text, then you have not repented or you have not surrendered yourself to the reality in which the message is already there or the message has already been received. So you are basically thinking of that reality rather than thinking from that reality. And this is exactly why you have not yet received the message from them. You see, you cannot manifest what you are thinking of. You can only externalize what you are thinking from. So put yourself into the state of your wish fulfilled and think from it. That is called praying. And in a way no one knows, your conscious analytical mind doesn't know. It will unfold in your world and will become a fact.